We are back. 813 happy news for former <laughs> Olympic skier Bodie Miller and his beautiful wife Morgan. The couple announcing they are expecting their eighth child. Yes, and they are allowing us, to, what an <laughs> honor, to publicly reveal the baby's gender right here on today. Good morning, Bodie and Morgan. We're going to let Natalie Morales <laughs> tell the story of how your family has moved forward despite that great personal loss. Natalie, good morning. Good morning to you, Savannah and Hoda. Yes, as you know, Morgan and Bodie Miller lost their beloved 19-month-old daughter, Emmy, in June of 2018 in a tragic drowning accident. But since then, they've been dedicated to spreading the word about water safety. And they've added three boys to their growing family. And now this morning, we find out if baby Miller number eight is a boy or a girl. I am so nervous. Bodie and I have no idea. Um, so we'll see. With family and friends gathered for a gender reveal party on Sunday, Morgan and Bodie Miller were ready to find out if baby number eight would be a boy or a girl. It's a girl. Celebration, cheers, and also tears. The new baby will be their first girl since losing their 19-month-old daughter, Emmy, in a drowning accident in 2018. She was, uh, you know, had, had such a powerful, bull like personality where she just did what she wanted. She um, was such a bright light and she was determined. The Millers have been candid about their heartache, hoping to prevent other families from experiencing similar tragedies. They've taught their own babies to survive in water and have been encouraging others to do the same. If your child is crawling, they should be floating. If your Emmy is still very much a part of the Miller family. There's this undercurrent of, of sort of loss that's just never going to go away. The newest Miller baby will join 13-year-old Dace, 8-year-old Nate, 6-year-old Nash, 2-year-old Easton, and 18-month-old twins Asher and Axel. Daddy. Morgan recently shared her positive pregnancy test with a stunned but excited Bodie Miller. And last week, the couple shared their news publicly with the help of People magazine. We're finally on our last pregnancy. Um, <laughs> we're at the finish line. In 2019, after their twin boys were born, I asked the Millers if there was anything they hoped for. Do you all have, like, a Christmas wish? An unrealistic one? Another little girl? <laughs> for the Miller family, it's a dream come true. And, of course, we are so thrilled for them. The couple expected to be due in November. Savannah and Hoda? Oh, Natalie, well, happy news. I noticed you were kind of giving us a spoiler with your pink blazer there, Nat. Yes. <laughs> and Bodie and Morgan are with us now. Congratulations. Ooh. It's a girl. I bet that still sounds pretty good, right, Morgan? Oh, my gosh. We are so excited. Uh, it was nerve-wracking um, and definitely for that last about <laughs> half a second before I twisted the thing. I was like, oh my God, wait, this could be either one. I mean, we really had no idea. Everyone was, um, I think, really excited and, and happy. I think, you know, everyone who's been so supportive that it was really, I think, a, such a cool reward and thing to share all together, especially after this last year with COVID and everything. It was it was pretty amazing. What a beautiful moment, you guys. Um, tell us how you informed all of your other children that there was going to be yet another sibling coming into the family. Yeah, how'd that go over? <laughs> um, we told them on St. Patrick's Day, I planned an, an elaborate scavenger hunt. And at the end of each clue was their pot of gold. And in their pot of gold had a little treat plus a word. And they all had to pull their words out and mix them together to figure out the sentence. And the sentence said, another baby Miller coming November, 2021. <laughs> and they were first completely shocked. Yeah, and then and they were like, wait, what? <laughs> what? No, we have the babies. So we were like, no, another one. Um, but they, they've been, and yesterday was really fun to see how excited they were. They're um, so excited. That was really well, I, we know that you would have been overjoyed to have a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. but let's talk about it, Morgan. How does how much does it mean to you that, that just another little girl coming into your life? 
It is so special. I feel like I haven't fully got my head wrapped around it because every time I start thinking about it, I just start crying. Mm. But, I mean, to get to experience a relationship with a little girl again, mm. uh, her side is going to be unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, you I think I was the I was pretty. I was pretty confident that it was a girl all the way up until, like I said, that last half a second. Um, and then for some reason, my confidence completely evaporated. And I was like, "Oh my god, no, I know it's gonna be." And I was like, "Please be big." But at the other side of it, we were, you know, I had all our boys around us, yeah. and base was there, and I think we were just, um, you know, surrounded by such great people, friends who have supported us through, you know, everything in our lives and, and all our kids who were just fired up either way. And all of our great boys, like, it was kind of like, even though I, I panicked for about half a second, <laughs> I was kind of at, at the last minute, I was like, all right, I'm ready. Let's do well, Bodie, you're, you're, you're pretty cool under pressure. I remember that um, the last, when the twins were born, you guys do home births, the midwives hadn't made it. And you, as you said, you caught the babies. I still remember that. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you going to be there? Uh, is, is, are we going to expect the same thing happen? This and now, time you're, now you're an expert. You've already delivered two babies. You can do another one. Well, other ones too. So I'm, I'm up and getting close to double digits now, but no, um, we talked, our midwife was here. She was one of the people who knew yesterday, um, and was very tight lipped about it. I was trying to get some hints out of her before we, we popped the cannons, but we talked about, I think this is our kind of comfort zone is here in California. We'll, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I think we're planning as of now with a home birth, but we always have our backup plan to, uh, to be in a hospital if, if anything, it seems off or seems crazy, but, um, we've been really lucky and, and had great births so far. Mm. We are just so mm. happy for mm. you, Morgan. You were so sweet to text me last week and oh. let me know. And I was so excited <laughs> that we were sending pink bows back and forth to each other, hoping it was a girl. Oh. And I'm just so delighted for you all. We love you so much. And as always, we love to remind people when we talk to you to think about water safety mm -hmm. and making sure your kids are waterproof and, um, mm -hmm. you know, just getting them the training that they need. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Thank guys, you guys so much. We love you. We love we'll you. keep in touch. <laughs> Most beautiful couple ever. I know. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.